Has artificial intelligence gone too far? Yes, it has. All right, there's no hook, there's no intro. Yes, it has. Take a look at this tweet. It simply reads, we'll be having adult time with robots in the next 10 years. Now, before I go any further, I want you to guess when this tweet was made. Got your answer? Good. Now, most of y'all are probably thinking, oh, this was made a year or two ago because of today's standards, but believe it or not, this was made 10 years ago. The fact that this was even remotely a possibility is crazy. As of recording, that was the year 2015. That's a very long time ago. Let me remind you of what was going on during that year. The latest iPhone was the iPhone 6, Obama was still the president of the United States, and Vine was at his absolute peak. Back then, you would have seen this tweet and just laughed about it. Banging a robot is pure insanity. That's absurd, only in the movies. Back then, I would have laughed too, but now? It's not funny anymore. Why do I bring up this tweet? Well, it's because of the advancements of artificial intelligence or AI as of recent. With advancing technology at a rapid pace, I can't lie, the future is looking dark. New tools like ChatGPT and PhotoMath are pretty much destroying education by not having to think and do assignments anymore. Think about it, let's say that you have to write a five page paper about the civil war in the 1800s. Being the procrastinator that you are, you leave it until the absolute last minute to write the paper. You're frantically researching and typing on the keys as fast as you can so that you can get it in on time and then you remember that you can just chat GPT it. Type in the topic for the bot to write and then boom, your history paper is now complete in less than five seconds. Oh, little Timmy, don't feel like doing your math homework? No worries, just take a picture with photo math and then boom, it'll solve every problem that you have on it. It's getting to the point that education is basically dead. Long gone are the days where you have to critically think and problem solve in order to get the answer. If you're stuck or don't feel like doing homework at all, just let ChatGPT do its thing. Don't get me wrong, I know the education system is deeply flawed and doesn't encourage creativity, but technology now removes that ability to even think or engage past surface level thinking. Sure, AI seems harmless from these elements, but it goes way deeper than this. Like, for example, AI voice generators. Essentially, you can grab the voice of one person and give them any sort of text to mimic and say what you want. A few years ago, it sounded absolutely terrible and would not sound like the person. But now, the technology is thoroughly advanced and my goodness, it has gotten scarily accurate. Y'all remember Michael Jackson, right? You know, the most talented singer and dancer the world has ever seen. His voice to me and many others still hasn't been topped due to how unique the voice is. His voice was very special, but now due to technology, you can get him to sing any song and it'll sound almost exactly like Michael Jackson. I'll prove it right now. You thought I was funny, you know? That nigga munch, nigga, you know he get it for munch. Push on my body, I get what I want. What? Did you hear how accurate that was to Michael's original voice? It's damn near identical. Unless he somehow revived himself with some Dragon Balls and started listening to Ice Spice, this is impossible. Like, it's funny now, but I can't help but think about the downsides that comes with these voiceovers. For starters, this piece of technology has the capability to make songs with the artist's voice without the original artist having to do anything. This can lead to a lot of exploited voices, or worse, artists wouldn't have to make music ever again organically. They can just simply chat GPT a theme for a song, have lyrics written out for them. Uh, you know what? On second thought, that sounds like Drake's music now. But I don't want that for all my favorite artists. The artists now technically never have to lift a finger to make a song ever again. If a computer can code out music in the blink of an eye and make the artist millions of dollars, then most artists would just use this and not struggle in order to make a hit. This is literally an infinite money glitch. Music is supposed to be a beautiful art form that allows people to express themselves through songs that reach the heart and soul of people. If we let AI take over the music industry, sure, it'll sound okay, I guess, but will it really touch the soul? Because remember, you can't touch music, but music can touch you. This goes past entertainment too. There's more. What if scammers and hackers get a hold of our own voices in order to exploit personal assets? Or maybe they could use the voices they collected from us to collect bank information, or they could try to exploit our loved ones into giving up personal information too. I mean, it's weird. If you think that portion of AI is weird, just wait. I have something much 
much worse to show you. While doing research for this topic, I came across this Twitch streamer named Amaranth. On the surface, Amaranth seems to be just a Twitch streamer that makes harmless content, but what she's chosen to do with AI could literally lead to the downfall of humanity. A few years ago, Amaranth has chose to dive into the AI market using a bot that uses her voice and photo to interact with individuals across the screen. Hey there, it's your AI girlfriend, Amaranth. Earlier today, I went for a run in the park and worked up a sweat. I couldn't help but think of you while I was getting all hot and bothered. Oh, damn, oh. This is very bad. The fact that people are choosing to talk and build connections with a bot instead of actual people is creepy and dystopian-like. This parasocial relationship dynamic between viewer and streamer has significantly grown over the past decade and doesn't seem to be slowing down anytime soon. I mean, for Pete's sake, people sit down and watch streamers sleep. If that's not bad, I don't know what is. Or maybe I'm just jealous that they can make money while sleeping, I don't know. The point is, people are willing to engage with a screen than actual people. This technology is horrific, and the fact that people like her are using this technology to exploit loneliness for profit is some of the lowest things that you can do as an individual. People need to speak to others and form bonds with the outside world and actually touch grass, not just stay cooped up inside a bed and talking to a bot they'll never touch. And I get it, it's difficult to talk to people, but it's a million times better than talking to a bot that doesn't exist. We shouldn't encourage this type of technology. It's horrible for the mental health and exploits the loneliness of people who clearly need to build a relationship with others. In fact, AI has gotten so advanced to the point that it now has the capability of using voice recognition to let you talk to those from beyond the grave. I understand that death is a tough concept to grasp in this life and we don't wanna let go of those who made life easier, but no matter what you do, the person is gone. Talking to a bot may sound like your loved one, but in the long run, you're setting yourself up for a lot of pain in the future. To all you kings listening, be careful with the new technological advancements. I'm not a conspiracy theorist, but I do think with all this technology, there's a bigger agenda at hand. I mean, think about it. No need to think and problem solve with ChatGPT and other educational tools. You can practically have e-sex online and bang robots instead of going out and meeting people. And you can talk to dead relatives too? Is that not crazy? Like, what is this leading all to? It, it seems strange, almost as if they want us to be alone. It's like we're evolving, but backwards. Artificial intelligence has already begun to replace cashiers and fast food workers slowly over time. So how much more will AI take up? Just last month, AI has already copied a major art studio and now can copy its new art in literal seconds and make new art pieces with it. Art is supposed to be a long, tedious process that takes time to perfect. But with AI, people's work can just be copied and duplicated in mere seconds. Now, I'm no conspiracy theorist yelling out things like 5G is rotting the brain or the water is turning the frogs gay. but Look at what's going on. Imagine five years in the future now. How far will AI go? Will AI get so thoroughly advanced to the point that it'll take all the jobs? Or worse, is artificial intelligence the beginning of the end? I don't know. But I'd love to hear your thoughts about it in the comment section. Maybe I'm overblowing it in the video, so do let me know. Is the potential of AI just being overblown or is it serious? In my opinion, while the future looks scary, don't have any fear, Kings. I really wanted to shine a light on this topic just because of what's going on in the real world, but just because technology is advancing doesn't mean that you have to be afraid. Keep having faith in God for those dreams that you have and keep pursuing them relentlessly. Don't worry about robots or AI trying to replace you, all right? Because you are you and you're special, all right? So with all that being said, kings and queens, until we meet again, much love, have a wonderful day, keep it 100, and I'm out. Peace.